Good afternoon, Black America. This is B. Jax with the Black Views. And today, my topic is going to be on Lonnie Love, and it's also going to be on the comments that she made on The Real. Okay? Miss Lonnie Love got on The Real and said some things in reference to black men. Uh, me, I think it's ridiculous what she said, but I'm going to play it for you first, and then I'll come back with commentary. So stand by here. Here we go. I want to... You know, I don't speak for the black community, but I do think that a lot of black men, they really don't know how to have true, faithful relationships. They think because they have money, because they have power, that they can treat women any kind of way. Lonnie love the same thing. And that is something we need to work on. We need to work on uh, that. That money and power does not mean that you I can guess. just do whatever you want to do. I think that so many cultures, that is the whole yeah. machismo thing, like that, that is... That goes across the board, but I, I'm going to no, say... it's not across the board because what is happening is that we are still dealing with the point of uh, slavery, and we are descendants of slavery, and because our families were broken up, we still do not have an idea of what, how to have together families because our families were broken up. Yeah, and yeah, until yeah. we really start... perspective, I absolutely... Right. I, I, and that's right. also slavery, welfare reform in the 60s yeah. and 70s. Like, it's a, this is a long... So All right, stop it right there. Okay, I'm gonna play a little bit more. I just want to speak on this uh, from the beginning. All right, this is an individual that is careless, thoughtless, and basically a monster. And let me explain to you why. This individual is allowed to get on national television and just speak on black men in a derogatory manner. And actually, and, and actually say that black men. She didn't say Kevin Hart. She didn't say Joe Budden. She said black men have problems with relationships. She didn't say black women have problems with relationships. She didn't say men. She just said black men have problem problems with relationships. And the issue that I take with this is that this is a celebrity that's handpicked by the white establishment. That's basically what it is. And she's allowed to say whatever she wants to say about black men. If it were the opposite, and she said that about white men, she'd probably never be on that show again. But why is it okay to say these things about us? First of all, she sounds very uneducated. She didn't do any kind of background research before she said this. She, she She's equating slavery to the reasons why our relationships aren't working. Not the policies, not the environment that we've been placed in. She's saying this is slavery. When families after slavery were together, black people depended on one another. They depended on one another up to segregation, right up to segregation. So there were men and women in the homes, fathers in the homes, during this time of segregation, okay? Because this was before uh, they were going to start the, uh, the, uh, the programs to separate black men from black women. So what is she, so she's just talking. And, the, and then the bad thing about it is, okay, why wasn't she saying this when she was dating black men? Why did she wait to date this white guy and flaunt him all over social media, flaunt him all over uh, uh, national television, and then and then you and then you want to crap on black men. Like after that, then you're talking about Kevin Hart and, J and Joe Budden. Wasn't Joe Budden on Love Hip Hop? Like seriously, are we supposed to take this black man seriously about relationships? Is, is it? Uh, uh, these are entertainers. This is a, I mean, I'm trying to understand this. I'm trying to put all this in perspective. For her to go on national television and just spill like that on black men, but at the same time, you're dating a white man. It's like, isn't it obvious this is a setup? Isn't it obvious she was put up to do this? Isn't it obvious this is a stunt, once again, to berate black men? There's a slew of army of black entertainers out here that's put in play to be right 
and downgrade black men before the country and the world. And they're allowed to do it. They don't even know. Like, like, what? Okay. Let's look at it this way. There are, not a lot, there are not a lot of black men with power. Why? There's not a lot of black men that are millionaires. But they are. Okay? So, so let's think about it. Out of all the black men, there are very few that are successful and are millionaires. So, wouldn't it be obvious that they would probably do a little more because they're means and they have more uh, 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 selection at different women in different places and categories because they have money, because they are successful, because they do have the means. So, but how can you equate that to black men when there's such a small percentage of black men that have power and that have money, but there are millions of black men that don't have money and don't have power. Why didn't she date a black man that didn't have any money? Why didn't she go down in the hood? Not even in the hood. There's black men that aren't in the hood that aren't rich, but they're good black men. There are many black men that are educated, speak well, have jobs, have their own place. There's black men out here that don't have baggage, but she, but, but, but is she mad because she's not with Joe Budden, a Joe Budden, or a Kevin Hart, then that's something she has to work on. That's a personal thing. But she took her personal feelings and bought that out into the country, on us, on black men. Just blame black men. They have a problem with relationship. We're having a problem with black women right now. Okay? We, we, we're all, we are trying to sustain relationships. We are trying to show that we are the leaders in the house. We are doing those things. Okay? But when you have a, a, a so-called celebrity like this, to me, she's not a celebrity. She's just someone that's picked a black face to say they have a black woman on the show. And then you have all these other women who are chiming in on it. Like, like what are you saying? They don't even know regular black men. But somehow they can sit on TV and have a discussion about black men's loyalty in relationships. And I don't, probably probably it's like one or two of them that I probably date black men up there. The other, the other girl tried to save her and say, no, it's across the board. No, no, no. It's just black men. Like, see what I'm saying? She came out to make a point to crap on black men. And I'm just here to tell you. I'm here, I'm here to tell you what I see. And just to let you know that here's another one. Here's another one that's getting butter biscuits. Here's another one that's trying to throw us under the bus. Here's another one that's looking for her own personal gain. That's how you know this is personal gain. Because she's dating a white guy all of a sudden. Now he's all of a sudden on the TV. Right about the same time. That supposedly she hasn't even met this man kids. But she gets on TV and starts B-rating black men. Talking about uh, we have money. But let me play the rest of this real quick here. And so I'll, I'll wrap this video up. I'm not going to make it long. But I did want to do this video. And I want you to hear the rest of what she had to say. And I'll finish commenting. Here we go. Or, but I, I'm gonna no, say it's not across the board because what is happening is that we are still dealing with the point of uh, slavery and we are descendants of slavery and because our families were broken up we still do not have an idea of what, how to have together the families because our families were broken up yeah, and yeah, until we really from start that perspective, I absolutely right. He don't want to go back to where he came from because then he'll lose the power. And he'll then working 
working so hard is affecting his relationship. Exactly. Yeah. So it is a conundrum. Correct. Correct. Well, Okay, so I'm gonna stop it right there. So, when you hear this, she she, she could have said, you know, I don't know, celebrities, maybe. Um, they have problems with relationships because they work. You know, that would have been something different. You know, you know, she could have said, you know, and some of the black celebrities may have it, may have problems with their relationships because they work. She said, but she just comes out and says crazy things, and it's just right across all across the board. Very embarrassing to uh, to for black people. Period. That we have to sit here and have to listen to this individual. Remember, they have these shows, and when you see a person of color, that's supposed to represent you, your inclusion. And listen to what she says. So even if you're a black man and you're watching the show and you're listening to what the black girl says, they all they say is bad things about you. Pay attention. This she ain't saying nothing good. This she talk Joe Budden. I mean, if he has to work, he got to, he got to work. Isn't that the same way he attracted her uh, with her with his means and his ways and 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 his accomplishments? She attracted him that. Well, she was attracted to him for that. So therefore, I mean, that's the fruit. He still got to work to maintain this lifestyle. And that may that might that might break a relationship up. But that's not what she's saying. Then she goes back to say this is because of slavery and because they broke our family. Yeah, they did break our families up. But we had strong families too after slavery. We had strong families. This woman says we have no idea. So I have a problem with, with what she's saying, you know. And I, and I really think that she needs to be taken off TV. You know, I find it ironic that all of a sudden she, she, you know, she wants to show the white guy, show everybody her, you know, with the white dude, and they are having a good life, and that's cool. Cause guess what? Nobody would have known she was with this white guy if she didn't get out here and just flaunt it all over the place, and then just be raped and put down black men. Period. No research. Sounds very un, uneducated in her answers and what she's saying. So, I don't know. I don't understand why these shows exist. And all those women up there were just like, just running their mouth and don't have a clue. At least there were one that she was trying to, you know, basically say, you know, yeah, all men, this is across the board. That's that Bravo. Now, now, now. It, this ain't across the board. This just black men. That's your coon right there. She gonna pop out the box all day. Okay, because she thinks she gonna get a TV show out of this or whatever. Or whatever, man. And there needs to be some responsibility for celebrities and people like this. We shouldn't support them. In no way in hell should we support this 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 uh, 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 individual. We shouldn't look at her none of her shows. We should boycott any show she's on. We should not look at any of her movies. We should we should not listen to her on. We should totally. Uh, let it be known that we don't want to watch the view before the view anymore because she's on there and and, and black people this is what we have to do black men and women we have to do this to punish these people that want to get on national television and make us look like buffoons and say what the hell they want to say <laughs>